Hello everybody and welcome back to some stone block. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Last episode we got started. Got into tinkers, got water set up. I have got a water source done. We got our first bit of sieving done. I have got a little bit of sieving done. Uh, not much. Uh, I got what I wanted to go ahead and work on getting into our next bit of business. Um, which, in order for us to unlock most anything else, um, we need lava generation. Once we get into lava generation, that pretty much unlocks uh, most everything else. We can actually get into, oh, get into some of this stuff. Um... So yeah, that is kind of where we're at. Today I want to um, get lava generation going on, get our mob farm going on. We're going to at least get flint mesh. I've already got the stuff for that. And we're going to get at least a tier 1 cobble generator done. If I have a chance to, we'll get tier 2 done. That is the plan. So, first things first, we need flint mesh. And we've got enough to do two, actually. Awesome. That'll give us what we need. So, basically, the difference between this is it gives us a little more. It's all. Is it only use it in the heavy sieves? doesn't show anything at the regular seas. Anyways, gives us a better chance of getting some of the stuff that we need. Uh, I don't know, is diamonds a thing with the flint mesh? Or do we need to get iron mesh for that? We need iron. Alright, so, doing some looking here. I had another coffin fit. Uh, basically, it gives us a higher drop chance for what we were already getting. Um, so, it goes, like, iron goes from a 30% chance to a 40% chance. So, that will help us out a quite a bit. So, that part is done. Get us our quest complete. And we don't need that yet. So I got some peaches and a pear from cutting down trees. I got a little bit of wood and stuff together. I have done, like I said, just bare minimum of ore gathering while we were done. So the next thing we're going to work on is we need bone meal uh, in order to make a crucible. So bone meal can be gotten, should be able to be gotten from seven dust. That will give us gunpowder and, and some black quartz too using the flint. So that is our next bit of business. We need at least a bucket. Do I have any cobblestone? I do. And I don't have a hammer So there we go. So there's gravel. Dirt. Shoot. Oh, I done goofed. That's right, I got... And there is us a bit of sand, or a bit of dust. So let's see if we can get enough bone meal out of this. 
in order to get what we need, which would be at least seven, I think. So we're needing a unfired crucible. That's not going to work. Well, it'll work, but it takes too long. So yeah, we're going to need quite a bit. Of, I should have spent some time getting some more dust before we got together. So we've got five. So I need to get some more bone meal, or get some more dust. So instead of just digging a wall out like we've been doing, we're going to work on going out in a direction. Let's see if my F7 works here. Uh, and it does. Good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and work on setting up a makeshift mob farm. One of the things that we need to do So we got to get cobblestone. We might as well do it as we're doing something that we need to do. Not sure. Let's see here. How far are we? We are... Of course it has to count backwards. So we're at 996. So we basically need to go to about 70. And that should be good. That should be good. So we go right here. We'll cut us out a three wide room. And we will make this our platform that they spawn on. And then, oh, I tell you what, phone. Uh, we'll do, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Trying to think of how wide I want to do this. That's so one, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four. Go one more. Alright, let me get all this dug out and then I will be back. All right, we are back. We have our standard two high, three tall mob farm. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing to write home to mom about, but it should at least get us going to where we can get some mobs taken care of. So let us see. I've got to work. Can we put these back? At, ooh, we can so now, oh, we've already got mobs. We need something to kill them with. Do... Can we use just vanilla tools? Looks like we can. Not necessarily what I want to do right now, but for now it looks like that's all we can do. Get up here where I can get you. Beautiful. We've got our first bit of mob drops. Oh, and we got loot bags. Even better. What we get? Nothing. Nothing worth getting. So that is something that we need to keep an eye on. 
Alright, so my next bit of business is I've got to get some more dust. So, let me get that done, and then we will be back. Alright, we are back. So next up on our bit of business is we need some clay. And, as far as I know, the easiest way to get clay... Water in a barrel, and there we go. That should be about enough to get us into some lava. There we go. We need our crafting table. Not that one. This one. This with this gives us our porcelain clay, which is enough porcelain clay to give us an unfired crucible. We can throw that in there and make it a fired crucible, and we will set us up a spot right here for now with a torch. To get us the quest complete. Let us get some stone in here. There we go. Not stone, but cobblestone. Let's complete our quest. I was looking at this mob farm quest. Well, I'll tell you what. It's 64 rotten flesh, 16 bones, and 4 ender pearls. It'll be a while before we'll be able to complete that one. So we've got this one done. And... Industrial craft upgrade, too. I don't know if we'll be getting any industrial craft, but if we do, we've got some stuff to use. Alright, so our next bit of business is going to probably be, in order to do this, is to get us into our cobblestone generator. Which should be... Tier 1 lava, water, a piece of glass, and some cobblestone. I need to get a piece of glass. Easy enough for us to do. We can just break that. Break that and break that. So, what are we waiting on here? We are waiting on the piece of glass. And we are waiting on our lava. So, it gives us... Let's, let's get our book out here. I'm going to bet we don't have anything else that we can use. Lava gives us three. Fire gives us five. Yeah, we can't do either one of those just yet. We may use our first bucket for that. Anyways, let me wait till the lava gets here, and then I'll be back. Alright, we are back. We have enough lava for that. Unfortunately, though, we are going to use this bucket of lava to do this, uh, because that took forever. I mean, literally took forever. It is exactly one second for each tick of it. And yeah, that's that got old pretty quick. So but now we've got this. It won't take now very long for us to get the other half because now every second we're getting three ticks. So yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot faster. I did make a set... Well, that was. I made a second one. Uh, we had some skeletons spawn in the mob spawner, so I did that. So I am waiting for another bucket, and then we'll be back. All right, we got our second bucket. Let us go ahead and make our tier one cobble generator. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we can place this down right here and we can make a storage drawer to put on top of it and that will give us 
cobblestone. I'm going to set this here like this because I'll take this and just slowly filter it in. That way we can get cobblestone. So let's go ahead and complete these two quests. Cobblestone and our storage for that one. And let's see what we get. Lithium dust and rod of the shifting crust. That's not bad. Only thing is, is we don't have any mana yet. Which is something that we're probably going to get into pretty soon. I was looking for grass earlier. And outside of sifting dirt, I guess it is, is the only way we're going to be able to get grass or yeah, get grass blocks anytime soon. So I'm thinking we've got still got plenty of time. Uh, I'm going to spend some time here um, and let's see here we need a stone barrel. Let's go ahead and see about getting into the nether. Stone barrel requires actual stone. So I need that. And I will sit here and keep our cobblestone going. So basically I get stone barrel, put lava in the stone barrel with water on it, and we will get obsidian. We'll get enough obsidian to go to the nether. I don't know what awaits us in the nether. I have not been to it. I have not seen anything on it. So, that is what we will do. Alright, we are back. I have everything ready to go for us to go check out the nether. I set the portal down here. I'm not going to promise you that's where it's going to stay. I don't know where we're going to do anything. Um, but that is the plan for now. So let us... I made... I got aluminum out of a loot bag um, so I made a sword with it it's not a very good sword why are we having issues alright there we go So, from the looks of it, we have, before we go anywhere, I don't know why it told me that. I have more than six gigs of RAM dedicated to this. Um... I don't see any actual ore. But we hadn't got very far yet. Got cobalt and ardite I've seen. Quartz I see. Mystical agriculture stuff. We just completed a quest. I oh, know it didn't. So my question is, is where are we at? We're at Y88. Is there a way out of here? Oh, there's glowstone. I have no way out. At least we got a nice safe exit. All right, so I see stuff this way. So I'm thinking we should dig down some. Let me find a way out of here and then I will be back. Well, one thing I see is we've got these things, whatever the heck it is, called netherfish. I didn't see that one coming, but that block was hard to break. But so far I've been digging and I have yet to find any uh, any kind of ores or anything like that. Whoop. 
but we should be getting pretty close to being down. <clears throat> no, but I do see something that I won't. seeing a whole lot we do have hats in this that's pretty cool let's just go down from here there's another one of them things enough everything looks to be well at least normal friendly uh, but yeah I don't see anything outside of mystical agriculture stuff and tinker stuff here what is that an ender daisy we'll take it back and see what that is Doesn't look like we've got too much to at least be afraid of. Let's see if there's anything up there. Mushrooms will take. The only thing that I don't see that I want is ores. There's Natura sand. All right, I'm going to wander around a bit, see what I can find. I'll be back. All right, so I went digging the other way, and lo and behold, look what we have. A nether fortress. Not only do we have a nether fortress there, we've got another one of these. We've got our nether quartz chickens, which doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now. Um... I don't have any way of getting them back. I don't think we've got the little... Picking them up thing. So, I think... We're definitely not going to go up inside of there. Uh, I don't have... I don't have the, the... We're definitely not ready for that. Um... But, I want to see, hold on a second, let's go into options, controls, chiseling bits, I want to see if we've got the mod in here that allows us to pick up things, and I don't know what that mod is actually called. Oh, we've got farting in here. Um. Oh, well, I don't see it. We'll get things situated. Now i got to find my way back out of here. Dang it. I think... I hear the Enderman. The Enderman was where my hole was. He's not there anymore. There's my hole right there. Yeah, so basically I just dug up or down one side and the other. There is the hole we come out of the first time, and then there's the hole we just come out of. Alright, so I'm going to head back, and then we'll probably finish the episode. Alright, we are back. I'm wanting to see if we can replant these. It doesn't look like we can plant them on that. On stone. 
Does these have a use? I'm going to assume they do. They make ender pearls. All right. So, do we need netherrack or do we need dirt to grow these on? We can grow them in dirt. Cannot twerk them. But can we bone mill them? That's the next question. If we can bone mill them, we can get us some ender pearls pretty quick. That doesn't work either. All right, what about just for trying them out purposes? That doesn't work either. Our next trying out thing would be a watering can. And what watering cans do we have? We have the Tiny Progressions one, which we can't do yet. That'd be the one that I'd want to make because this one's terrible. But we can make it right quick. Uh, let us... Let's do that. Let's go ahead and make us watering cans so we can try that out. We want... A bowl and while we are waiting let's get some of this stuff out of our inventory let us go ahead and I took this out so I didn't lose it let's complete our nether quest it didn't give me all of that oh my god and I probably can't break these doesn't say and I don't want to break it without knowing dang it and I'm gonna bet let's do some looking that takes iron mesh all right bowl that let's get this filled up I'm going to have to make more obsidian which is gonna suck I don't see that working all right so, let me get some more obsidian made so we can complete a few more quests, and then I will be back. Alright, we are back. I should have enough lava and enough obsidian now to take care of that quest. And it should take care of a couple other quests. Just throw some stuff in here for now. Uh, I did find out about these... They will only grow in light level less than eight. So I've got them in there, keeping an eye on them for them to grow. So we have got this complete. And we've got another flask of adrenaline. We can't stack those. I'm beginning to run out of space already. All right, so that is going to be all for this episode. I'm going to spend some time in between episodes getting uh, resources and stuff like that together. My next goal is to get into some power generation. Um, let's look at that. I want to get a hammer done so we can not have to we can have everything automated so magmatic generator is not really that bad to do so with that that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye